everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson bringing you coverage of the second annual Run for Miles right here starting off at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. You can see participants lining up in this race that's in honor of the late Miles Helm with proceeds this year benefiting the Portuguese Band Landslide Relief Fund. So here's more about this fundraising run that is bringing our community together to help support our city during the landslide crisis. Well, I'm Jill Helm and I'm the one of the co-founders of Run for Miles with my son Kyle Helm and we started this event last year was our first year was to honor my husband Miles Helm and we also wanted to work with the city we reached out to the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and they partnered with us to do this amazing race and last year was our first year um, we had a very successful event and it was celebrating their 50th anniversary with the city and with our Run for Miles event t together um, this year we just they because it was so successful. They wanted to continue doing this every year. This is our second annual. And this year we wanted to give back to the community with what has happened with the homes in, in our area of Rancho Palos Verdes. We wanted to give back, so we reached out and said that any proceeds we wanted to go to the relief fund. So we're working with the Rotary Club and giving back to the community. So whatever we can do, we, we're hoping to help them. And we also wanted to bring good energy, good vibe, have a good day celebrating um, the area and having people have something nice to do that have had a lot of difficult times in their in their life right now. So we're hoping that they come to be here and have a great day with us. This is truly remarkable how we see our community coming together to support. You mentioned this is an honoring your husband who was an avid runner, loved RPV. What would he be thinking about this and his sense of community about doing something like this? He would be beyond happy. My husband ran 20 of the Rancho Palos, or the Palos Verdes marathons, and amongst many other, you know, high-level um, uh, competitions. But this was his favorite. And the reason why we ended up moving here was because of the fact that he ran those 20 marathons, and he wanted to come back here. So him, we feel him here. We know he's here with us, and um, he loved nothing more than being a part of the beautiful area doing the trails, parks, running, it was his happy place. He would feel just, you know, beyond thrilled, the fact that his friends, family, and community are here supporting um, not only him, but everyone else here that has been affected by what's happened. But we just wanna, you know, give back to this great area. It means so much to us. What is your goal for fundraising today? I think, was last year you raised over 30,000? We were, last year we raised thirty-five thousand dollars that we could get back, which we were just so we were happy to have anything to give back. And this year we love to have the same or more. We're, we're hoping, and so we will continue taking donations. If you go to runformiles.com, and um, we will continue. It won't stop. We're going to just continue to give back. So anything we can do, we want to help out the community. I'm now being joined by City Council Member Paul Sayo. This is your second go at the Run for Miles. Talk about your excitement and the importance of being here today, especially as this, the proceeds will be helping the, with the landslide efforts. Good morning, good morning. Well, first of all, this is our second annual memorial run, and it's memorializing Miles, who used to run these hills all the time. And the important factor, I think the, the most important factor in this specific race is that we're actually raising funds for Seaview and the f folks that are affected by the landslide. So all the funds are being going there, and we'll be taking care of our neighbors. I'm glad to be here for that. And I think it's a nice uh, way to get out, especially with what's going on now, to kind of relax a little bit, enjoy each other's company, and then use those funds for something good. Sitting on the couch right now, obviously there's a lot of challenges we're, we're facing. What's your message to the community right now that's wondering, you know, when is this going to all end? I think the biggest part is we're going to get through this. The city council and the staff are working extremely hard to find a solution for us. And uh, in the coming months, I'm hopeful that we can stabilize the ground and uh, get the money that these individuals need, especially in these neighborhoods, to help them transition or to you know cover any expenses that they may have with the funds that we're going to provide. I'm being joined by the Ryan family, of course. Your dad, Bob Ryan, one of our city's original city council members. Thanks for being here at the run. Talk about the importance of today and what you're looking forward to. Well, we're all just really excited to um, contribute and make sure that the people of Rancho Palos Verdes and the Lions Light get some cash. So. Did you participate in last year's run by chance, Liz? No, I was not here. But um, my sister's here, and she's a big runner. And um, me, I'm also here for the food. <laughs> How about you? What makes this a special run for you? you got your shirt on. You're ready to go. Yeah, 
and I got my bagel and I'm just excited to run. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And you're the big runner in the family. We're expecting a lot from you. Look, Eau Claire. Yeah. yeah. You from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. No, it's just special because we still know a lot of people that live in the slide area. We went to school with those people and, you know, thinking about them and hope this all works out well. My name is Kyle Helm. I'm a co-founder of Run for Miles. This is our, we're here at our second annual RPV's Run for Miles 5K, 10K. It's a wonderful community event that's giving back to uh, Rancho Palos Verdes community. Um, specifically the part of the community that's affected by the uh, recent landslides. So it's a, we have a few races taking place today. We have a 5K road race, a 10K road race, and also a kids fun run. Um, and uh, yeah, we have a great turnout for all three. So uh, it takes a big team to put this together. We have to give so much credit to the city. Um, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes is really what makes this possible. And um, it's a it's a road course that starts at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, right by the lighthouse in Palos Verdes. And it goes to about Abalone Cove and back for the 5K, and the 10K is two loops. And of course, the runners will be stopping short of really where the landslide activity is, but it just sort of, you know, helps us reflect more on the beauty, but also what we're up against. Absolutely, and this is beauty that we need to preserve. We have a new medal this year. It's uh, in the shape of a peacock. It's, uh, I think it's really beautiful. Uh, we also have new t-shirts this year. Um, so we're just uh, trying to make it more special every year that we put this on. Say this year, um, we have a few different booths. The uh, Los Angeles County Fire Department stopped by with, um, I believe they are weather radios that they're distributing. Um, we also have the Movement Shop, which is a a, uh, local um, physical therapy uh, outfit and they're um, they're gonna uh, somebody from that uh, organization is gonna lead our warm-up way to go team way to go all the participants running in this race are so excited to know that they're gonna have an impact on what's happening with the landslide in our community now out there on the course is our mayor some council members and the city manager and we're gonna talk to them when they cross the finish line well, congratulations to our city manager. You did it again. 10K, congrats. Thank you, Liz. I did it again. Uh, I don't know what my, my finish time was, but I'm, I'm glad I was able to do it this morning. You know, last year was the first time we did the run for miles, and the idea behind this run was to to benefit the city's recreation and parks department, all, all of our trails. But in light of everything that's going on in our city, we felt that it was much more appropriate that the proceeds go to benefit the affected residents with the, within the landslide. And so um, tonight, today, all of us that ran and all of those who didn't run but want to make a donation, the fund is available it's through the Run for Miles website or you can go to the Rotary website as well. All right, Mayor John Cruikshank has crossed the finish line. How'd you feel out there? No, I felt great. I exercise every day, and so I uh, was prepared for this race. The weather is perfect. I mean, it's the sun isn't out, which is good. Um, a little bit cooler, so I feel great. This is a really important race. You participated last year, and of course, proceeds now benefiting the Portuguese Bend landslide relief effort. Talk about the importance of this and what's happening with the landslide. Well, I think not only the financial support that this race will give to the people in the landslide area, but also people coming out and, and showing their support for the community out there. It's super important. And uh, there's three council members that are running today. I know the council member, Alegria, would be out here, but he has a family of four, and so he's probably out coaching. Um, your message to the community at this time of crisis for our city? I would say that thank you for all your patience with what's going on. I know many times people feel that nothing's being done, but a lot's being done. Our city staff has been working pretty much around the clock to, to figure out a ways to slow the landslide down. And honestly, on this day today, uh, here in late September, I can say to, the, to our community that some of the vertical wells and things that we're doing are starting to work. And so we'll continue to push forward until we can give the relief necessary for our community out there. So thank you everyone for being so patient. Congratulations, Elon. You crossed the finish line. This is such an important race for you, especially because I know you're very involved with the Wayfarers Chapel community. Yes, I've been going there for like more than 20 years, and it's really, really sad to see what has happened. I mean, what's happening in the land movement, and uh, we had to, you know, close the church. So this is awesome. This is going to benefit the people affected by the land movement Portuguese ban. Yeah. Where do you get your inspiration? I know as we've watched what's been going on with the community, we've had to be work together, um, but talk about that. 
Yes, we have a lot of members at Wayfair Chapel that lives around here in this neighborhood. And also, you know, being in the neighborhood, I've been in LA for more than 30 years. And uh, this is one, you know, something we want to give back to the community. And we have a whole lot of people at church that uh, we're going to do more stuff, volunteering and uh, supporting the, um, you know, our neighbors and uh, PV residents. So let's switch gears. Tell us about the course when you were running it. I mean, you got the beautiful view. Oh my God, the perfect weather. You know, you can beat this and living here with fog. And um, I just started training like a couple of months ago. So this was rough. This is my first 10K. So yeah, it was good. All right, I'm being joined by the Yabaka family. You all crossed the finish line together. How did you manage that? Years of training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom and I, we run together every week. and. My dad is just much more fit, naturally. <laughs> I don't, tr I don't really run, but you know, I enjoy it to do it with them. But it's awesome that okay. they're out there. A doing family it. that plays together stays together. I like that, and we're glad that you're staying right here to jo join in this community effort. Did you run last year? We did, but actually not in this city, but on the other side of the hill. Yeah. This is obviously helping to 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 benefit the landslide efforts. Your thoughts on what's going on and being part of this event today? Well, it's great that we're, you know, the community is doing something for all those poor people that live in that community. I mean, what a catastrophe, you know. But uh, yeah, any help we can give them, you know, the bet, the better. Yeah, and we weren't sure we were gonna do the run this year, and then when we heard that the race decided to have the proceeds support the Portuguese landslide um, residents, we were like, okay, yeah, we totally have to do it. <laughs> Oh, it's, a, it's an exciting day. Uh, from the time that uh, Jill Helm approached me uh, about doing this in honor of her husband, Miles, it's been a great event. It's a great time to come out on a Saturday morning uh, with the community and just uh, exercise and have a good time. So all the proceeds from this will be going to helping our uh, friends and neighbors in the landslide, uh, which are going through just a tremendously hard time right now. Our hearts go out to them. The city as well as the community is coming together to try to do as much as we can for those residents to help them through this really tough time. We were talking about this event and the speed of things. I think you looked a lot quicker out there. This I saw you last year. You're looking good. No, I think I was actually quicker this year. So uh, not fast, but I will say that I was number three on the council. I was three out of five. Now the other two that I beat didn't run, but at least I was uh, I was in the middle of the pack. Nothing like sister power. You two both ran one to 10K, one 5K. How did, how did it go out there? It was really fun. It was more hilly than I expected, but it was beautiful out there and it's going to a good cause. So that's all that matters. I hear you're the first place winner to cross the finish line for the women 10K. Congratulations. You did the 5K. How'd that go? It was good. I just walked it. It was a nice, easy stroll, so I was happy with that. So we're here with one of the sponsors from UCLA South Bay. Steve, talk about your participation and just the importance of today. Yeah, UCLA South Bay just moved into the neighborhood just two years ago. I've been with the campus. and helping to launch it for instruction for UCLA. And last year when I joined, I joined just early enough to be able to join this race as the inaugural, one of the inaugural runners. And when it came to this year for 2024 and knowing the, what the money is going to go towards, I said UCLA South Bay has to be a sponsor of this race. Well, we're glad you're participating and we're so glad that you're in the community where Marymount California University is, the campus means so much. We know you're going to just take it to the next level as well. Yes, we're very excited and you know being part of this community is everything to me and being neighborly and supporting and whatever that means, running the 5K, uh, helping with the community out, providing extension courses to, to community members as well as bringing students here to have instruction for UCLA South Bay. My name is Rosemary Vivera and I'm here with the Los Angeles County Fire Department. I was invited to come out to this beautiful event and make sure that we are getting our community prepared for any kind of emergency, whether it's a flood, earthquake, or an evacuation. Now, with the, uh, with the Office of Emergency Management, we were able to come pick up a grant for these radios. They are, they are weather radios and alert radios. An alert radio will go to those people in the community if they have bad cell service or if they run out of any kind of, uh, the, with the Southern California Edison, if they do not have electricity, that's fine because it also comes with batteries and it's not the batteries you charge, but those that you can purchase. So these are free. All I need is a first name, last name and an email. Please come by. If not here, I'll be at different events within this community so that you are safe in case of any emergency.
I'm William Shop. I founded the Movement Shop. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, and we have five other doctors of physical therapy on our team. And we're here today helping out, sponsoring Run for Miles. Uh, always happy to help local community events. And yeah, we're helping everyday athletes bounce back from injuries and get back performing at their highest levels. So these are actually two of our favorite clients over here, and they just ran the race with us. Um, but yeah, just helping some blood flow get out of the legs and clear out the rest of the body, clear out a bunch of inflammation and other junk that happens when you run. You know, you're, you know, I say your motto, empowering everyday athletes. This event today is helping to empower our community as we are navigating a landslide crisis. Your thoughts on just the importance of what's going on here for this event? Yeah, totally. So I grew up in San Pedro. I've lived there all my whole life. And so, um, you know, the landslide has been affecting us forever. Um, I remember driving on, you know, right here. And even as a little kid, we would watch, you know, it kind of start to go down. But just every two weeks, it seems like it's getting a little bit worse. So having the opportunity to support the, you know, communities that are affected by it and be able to sponsor this race and have the funds go to them, um, it's an honor, really. Fitness has been a big part of our family, and to have a day where people get up early um, at, with families, um, we have a lot of people bringing kids here, we have a little kind of fun run a little bit later. To get people together, I've been to so many races, and it's a very good feeling that you get up early, get yourself going, work out, um, while you're giving back to community, while you're giving back and doing something good, it's just really an amazing combination of, you know, a lot of times when you're giving to a charity, you're just giving something, you know, which is amazing. But when you come and you're participating and you're doing something good for yourself and sharing with friends and family, there's not, there's just not a better feeling. Um, we've had really great support. We have DJ, we have food that's been donated. Trader Joe's gave us food and, you know, we just, um, you know, really great things have happened and we're getting more support and that's what we're looking for so keep it coming we will get back we want to have all the support not just everyone here and then next year we're doing it again As we wrap it up here at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center, we want to let everyone know that you can donate by going on to runformiles.com. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Remember, we are RPV together.